that's not bad actually. Have you guys ever uh, rig a soft plastic and it ends up looking like that or uh, like that? It just doesn't look doesn't look right. It doesn't look straight. What's going on, guys? Donnie here. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're gonna be talking about how to rig soft plastics the way I rig my soft plastics. Let's see. Let's pick out one of these jig heads and um, I'll show you guys how to rig it properly. Not properly. Everybody's got their way of rigging things, but um, let me show you my way of how I rig it. We're gonna start off with this one here. A swim bait. So what you wanna do is you wanna line that bait with the, uh, the jig head like that, just to get an idea of where that part right there is gonna be coming out of. So it's probably a quarter inch into the fin. So right around there, right? So we have an idea. So now what you want to do is, again, line it up straight. Make sure it's nice and straight like that. And then just go straight down. Push it down and a quarter inch in. So like right about there, right? And you'll get it lined up really good that way. Just like that. All the time, guys. It works all the time. Look at that. That's a lined up, rigged paddle tail right there. You wanna have the lure rigged up right, nicely lined up so it'll swim straight. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, loving this topic. I'm gonna show you guys another soft plastic to, um, to rig up. This one here is a jerk bait, and I'll probably go with a longer shank, something like that there for the jig head. This is a quarter ounce TT headlock jig head made by Z-Man. Same thing, just line it up like that. Just so you know where that points gonna be coming out of so right around there just I don't know you can mark it like so just poke it can't really see it but just just get an idea of where that's coming out of so right around there all right so now same thing line it up straight and then just go Straight down, man. That's it. One take. Out. Like so. Push it up against the, uh, the lid. Right there. That looks good to me. That's pretty straight there. I'm happy with that. Right, we're gonna put that one down and let's rig this one here. I'll show you how to rig this bigger bait. This is the five inch Diesel Minnow Z Bad Shad. That's my favorite color right there, guys. That's all I really fish with is the, the Bad Shad color. I just think it's the most natural looking bait. And what's cool about Z-Man product is it's got that Elastec. So it stretches, it won't break on you. One bait, fish after fish, man. Try it out. Anyway, let's rig this thing up. We're gonna use this bigger jig head here. Again, TT headlock jig head. This is the uh, half ounce. So just line it up. Line it up like so. That's where it's, that's where it's gonna be coming out of, right near the, uh, the center of that fin. All right, I have an idea now, so. Let's just line it straight. Go straight down. Just push it, keep pushing. Keep pushing until you can really just get it in one take and just, and just pierce it through like that. There we go, that's good for me. That should be good there. And then just push it up, the jig head. That's it right there. It's not bad. 
nicely lined up. That's not going anywhere there. I usually super glue these, but with the uh, the headlock, it just hence the name headlock. <laughs> it just locks the bait in place. Like you see me trying to stretch it, it just it just won't come off, man. Really good jig head, stout hook on it, so it's not gonna bend or break on you. All right, that's gonna be a wrap for me. I hope you guys learned a thing or two from this video. If you guys like this video, hit that comment section down below. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys wanna see any other how-to videos and stuff like that. If you guys like this video, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next week. No, let's, let's not go there. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Shh.